hello today i will show you how to create a section for showing the trending books we will be calculating how many times a book has been taken and we will show the highest number of times a book has been taken in this section here you can show it in a table or you can show it on the upper position i will just show you how to do it on the upper position but you can show it in a table uh, in any place of your book page so after the body tag we will show this here let's add a div box and add the styling background color red and white will be 50 pixel then we will sorry white will be 100 percent and the height will be 50 pixel and then let's see how it looks here you can see this box we will show the trending books here in this section okay now we are adding a margin to actually taking it in the upper position after the navigation bar and after this we will create another div box and here in this will be actually shorter for writing an h3 tag so we will just remove this background color and use this in the second div box now white will be 10% and height will be again same 50 pixel and it will float to left okay now you can see this section So here is the trending and now we just need to change the styling for our h3 tag as you can see that we have already defined this before so we will add the style here here in this h3 tag inside this h3 tag margin top will be zero pixel now this is actually in the right place okay let's add colon here and now after this we will just add another div box beside this one so let's go after this div box and create another one here we will add some styling again okay let's add in okay we will not keep it red here in this portion we will change the color to a lighter shade or you can use any different color you want to use you just need to copy that hex code you are actually seeing from here so you can just copy it and paste it inside your code i'll be using this hex code and here you can see the color now i will just go to the next styling this trending section is actually not required for this uh, website but uh, someone actually wanted this feature to add in their website so i'm just making a tutorial for it but this will be actually required for any kind of like bookshop or any kind of store website if you want to create bookstore or something uh, so there you can actually add uh, things like uh, trending product or like breaking news something like this so here after doing this we can actually we are actually changing the background to a lighter color for this section we will create another table inside this section and inside this table there will be our table row and we will show the name of the trending books here inside this table rows and here we will add another styling color will be black and then the white that will be let's say 400 pixel we will show three trending books so i'm just calculating the white and making it 400 okay 400 for each row that will be total 1200 pixel okay now here you can see that here we will create another column for actually keeping track of how many times a book are being taken so here we are adding another column after at the end of the table after all the columns 
so here the new column name will be count but count is already a built-in um, keyword so we will use b count that means book count so here after that the type will be integer and length give it 100 then let's save this and after saving this we can actually see here all of them are already initialized with value 0 so now we just need to add some modification in our admin side add book page because we have actually used this table for inserting some values and we have not given anything for this new column so let's go there inside the add page there are, there is our insert query and here you can see that we have used all of our previous columns so after all this column we will add our new column and we will give 0 as our initial value so here b count for b count we will give another input inside this we will pass 0 as an initial input and now let's test if this is working properly or not let's go and log in from our admin side and let's go to the add book page and let's add a new book i have five book previously so let's give six as the book id and then basic vlsi design then the author name and then addition status and quantity and then department and after adding it let's go back again to see the table here you can see the new book is added here and the quantity is zero so we are not getting any error in this position so that means our work is done for this page so let's go back again and go to our approve.php page from our admin side again because every time the admin will approve a book a student can actually take that book that means that book is assigned to that uh, given to that student so we will go to that query and after this uh, query after the quantity query because every time a student is taking a book we are decreasing the value of quantity so after this we will actually use our new query here we will be updating our b count value we will increase it so we can actually just copy this query and just modify it so update book set instead of quantity we will modify now the b count so the column name b count set b count equal b count plus one so every time the book will be approved the count value will be plus one okay then let's check this again let's just approve this book for afifa and you can see the, that now we have zero as our value but after approving this you will see that the value will change from zero to one for book id one And after approving this we are actually getting this here you can see b count value is actually increased by one after that book has been assigned to someone so every time this will happen we will actually see how many times that book has been taken and by doing this we can actually see how popular that book is so let's just modify let me just modify it manually because this book has been actually taken previously but we are just creating it right now we have not counted it previously so for the future query i will just add some value for each of this book let's say the last book have been taken five times and let's add another one the fourth book has been taken one times okay now we have values for four books and if we want to actually find three of our trending book we need to write the query like this select star from books where okay sorry order by order by b count and if you actually press go you will see that it is actually arranged in an ascending order but we need to do it for descending order so write desc after this query and after adding this you can see all the books are actually in ascending order now 
and now we don't need all of them we need the first three values so we will add a limit so limit will be from 0 to 3 okay so from the starting we will take the tree book and from this we can actually select the name or the ID name or author name if in, we can actually take any of this from this query by actually changing it from here if you write select name you will only see the book name from here for this three book okay now you can see only the names are here so we can actually write our code like this we will be using star for now because we can actually later use the same query for other things too so let's copy this part and let's write this inside our book page now this is actually inside our student side page so inside the student side book dot php page here we need to modify it like this after the body tag we will write our php and here we will start our variable dollar b and here we will write mysqli underscore query and then the same query we have used and now we will fetch the data so here we need a while condition and let's change the variable name and we are fetching the data from our dollar b query so here we need to write exactly like this to show all this value inside our website so let's show the three name that we have actually shown previously in the database okay now you can see it is actually inside our website so we can now copy this part and we need to show this inside our table that we have created previously so inside this table we will start our php again and in between this php tag we will paste that while loop okay and now we will show them inside a table row not in not just uh, one by one we will just copy this part here so inside table row there are two data one for book id and another one for book name so here we are showing these two data and for each row we will actually show them side by side not uh, one by one here we are getting the value one by one but we will show them actually side by side so for that we need to add the styling that we have created inside this table row tag so now let's add the styling in this styling in this table row so here we need to use single quotation mark because we are actually styling this inside a php and here after this we will just add this styling and now you will see that all these values are actually in row okay you can see they are all in a single row now let's add some bracket okay beside this and you can actually show more than three values i'm just showing three data here as the trending book you can add more than them and here let's add a parenthesis before this book id so here let's add parenthesis in second quotation and here we need to add a dot after this let's add the ending bracket here after a dot here you can see now let's add some space for space you know that we need to write ampersand in bsb sorry in bsp okay now you can see if the student actually want to search this book they can just search the book here and can see the information and then they can actually order the book by writing the book id name sorry id number and now we can delete this extra table row that we just used for designing purpose and now you can see all of them properly and you can use this trending table here too by not showing that in the row by showing another table before this list of book and you can actually check if we are getting the value properly yes we are getting it properly so these are the three books that are trending right now